Ladies and gentlemen, would you look at that? We have another red bean of danger on the board for tomorrow. Illinois and surrounding areas I'm talking to you. So today you got some nasty weather up here. Tomorrow you're going to get some super nasty weather over there. And then the day after tomorrow, you're going to get like the eclipse line of severe weather. And then the day after that, after that, you get this one over here. And then the day after that, I think you get another one. Probably. So yeah, buckle up. Red alert. Ibu in Indonesia has a volcano eruption. You've got a seismic swarm happening in Campi Flegre. Uh, people are a bit panicked. Campe Flegre is just down the road from Rome. They say all roads lead to Rome. And I say, hey, say a prayer for my mom and my stepdad. Because they're in Rome right now. Thanks. And also remember, Thor News is for adults. So sometimes we talk about hurricanes. Even when the probability or possibility of one hitting you in the face are low along the coast. Anywho. Like, the Gulf of Mexico is so hot right now. You might be like, how hot is the Gulf of Mexico right now? And it is Jenny of Blackpink hot. So hot that finance Twitter is even talking about it. Chairman Burr Bernank, are you guys ready for crazy hurricane season? This water is so hot already. We're going to see some storms outperform models this year and quickly. Yeah, the chance of like early hurricanes are, are definitely high this year. Technically, I've been talking about this hurricane season since 2018 because the last time we had a super nasty hurricane season was 2017 when we had the over Air America total eclipse thingy, solar. And we just had one. And so, yeah, we had, there are just tons of reasons to think this hurricane season is going to be nasty. So, content weather guy is tracking the situation and. You know, it's, the overall situation is pretty oddball-y. Dada Boo, the Florida Wave Master, is tracking the situation. Um, you know, and he's going back and forth on the GFS because yeah, it should develop in the CAG area, which is where they come from usually this time of year. Or they come from first. And so we're watching to see what develops. Mike's weather page. You know, so yeah, we're all tracking it. And it, so it's like, Kind of feels like hurricane season already. Technically, it's hurricane season in the West Pacific. Or they call it East Pacific. I don't know. I have not learned my directions yet. The East Pacific. See, I'm a genius. I can figure stuff out. But yeah, it's like overall, with the weather and the hurricanes, we are on full red alert. And don't even get me started. Okay, go ahead and get me started. Um, So our former president, Donald Trump, is um has been on trial and criminal trial and the defense rested today and they're saying no i'm sorry the prosecution rested today and they're saying the defense is going to bring a lot of witnesses so they're going to wrap up this week and so i don't know you get people on this one side saying trump is totally kicking ass and the same people on the same side are saying but it's all totally rigged man it'll be it'll be a weird week if somehow he's found guilty and they send him to prison. If that happens, I don't know, you may want to stay home for a couple of days. Because you got like people out there saying um, they've got 85,000 armed patriots who are going to overtake local governments to do it the right way. And then a million armed force guys who are going to help overthrow everything. And they're saying this openly on podcasts. And there's definitely a vibe of like stand by, stand back, where Trump's gonna be like, oh shit, we're taking over now. Anyway, I've been talking about this behind the scenes with people for, I don't know, a year ish. Maybe. I don't know. It's a strange situation. What was I talking about? Oh, yeah. You are Asteroid Fight Club. So do what you can to help us prevent, you know, Second Civil War and World War Three and civilization from collapsing hey looks the sprites are getting spritier this photo by paul m smith 
the like sprite photography expert. And am I am I being faithful to my mom? Because I asked my mom, I don't know, like a month and a half ago, we're having dinner, and you have to have like a business dinner if you want to write it off. So I asked mom about my YouTube channel. I said, hey mom, what can I do to make my YouTube channel better? And she goes, make your video shorter. But I got a feeling this video is gonna be longer. <sighs> oh hell, this is Poland. Oh, sidebar. Um, if I have a super duper rich person out there who's been part of Astro Fight Club for a long time and wants to reward me for 10 years of being your planetary defense commander um, and wants to make a large donation, I think this week I'm going to buy a car. It'll be used, but it'll be new to me. And I mean, I've already got a car, but I think I'm going to get a Mustang, my dream car. And I'm going to spend a couple weeks driving around America. You want to make a super giant or semi giant donation to me is thanks. Okay, cool. That would be greatly appreciated. Um, but if, but if not, then that's cool. I'll still do what I do. Sounds great. All right, all right, all right. You know what the sailors say if the sky is pink, two in the stink. No, that joke was bad. It was announced that microplastics found in every single human testicle in a study that they found microplastics in 100% of men's testicles in a new scientific study. And why does this look like a scene from Twilight? Who conducted this research? Who went around testing everybody's um, danglers? You know, that's weird. That's really weird. Dang it, I feel like I could have made that funnier. I failed you. Anyway, happy Gemini season. Okay, how about some news about Scarlett Johansson? Anywho, so Sam Altman, the guy who headed up OpenAI, the guy who's running OpenAI, basically he asked Scarlett Johansson if he could copy her voice for his like AI Siri thingy. And then she said no. And he's like, okay. And then he asked her again, are you sure? And she's like, yeah, no. And so he did it anyways. And then so she's like, all right, I'm totally suing your ass. And there was a movie out a while back about a situation where like a fake AI girlfriend, but just in voice only, where a guy falls in love with her by Joe Queen Phoenix. And she voiced the voice. Anyway, we're making a chatbot based on her. You're not going to copy my exact voice without my permission, right? Anyway. <sighs> I feel like I could have made that funnier. Shit. Man, I'm really bad with the jokes. Um, today. The president of Iran helicopter crashed. But the president is not the supreme leader. Anyway. Strange days. Hey, speaking of breaking people's balls, the EPA warns of major threats to U.S. water systems. And Saturn is in Neptune, so expect some water weird shit definitely across the board. Please forgive me, Jesus, for any bad jokes I might tell. How do you feel about alien spaceship clouds? Okay. All right. Sweet. Are you a Mustang in the city? Calling me out. Wow, that's not very nice. Jeez. I can't even get a single de decent joke in today. Now I just landed on my job. <laughs> Speaking of Hurricane Doom, Sarah Connor. Maybe the hobbringer of doom is not a giant storm, but an anodyne letter from your insurance company saying, we're sorry to inform you we can no longer cover your home. Yeah, there have been some uh, insurance issues for sure. Anyway, shit's real crazy. So stay cool. Stay safe. Let's try and have a great week. I think I'd have, uh, starting Thursday, I think I'm going to have like three weeks off. That's an asterisk. I'm always on call. So like I said, I want to get my vehicle and then just drive across America for a week or two. And so, yeah, let's have a great summer. To have a great summer, you got to do some planning.
and avoiding dangers. So let's do it. Okay, hit the button. God bless everyone. Stay cool.